Focusing on yourself and helping others along the way. Let's talk about this and here's why. Ah, uh, yeah, what's up everyone? Welcome to Filmspiration, the place where filmmakers come to get inspired. My name is writer, director, Red Guevara. Let's get down to business. So, focusing on yourself and helping others along the way. I wanted to talk to, uh, or about this topic, can't spit the words out correctly, uh, but first all, first all, oh my god, wow. It must be all that eggnog. You guys, Merry Christmas. First of all, Merry Christmas. Um, I hope you guys are having a great Christmas Eve and I hope everything's going good in your world. I hope you are with loved ones and people that you adore and cherish and are basically nothing but positive vibes and energy to you. And Merry Christmas to one and all. Love you all. I hope you guys are ready. Bam! Got my little uh, gingerbread man sweater. Had to be a Christmas edition. But um, yeah, I wanted to talk about basically uh, this this channel. I I always try to make it to where you know I'm not trying to sell you stuff or ask something of you or give me give me give me. Um, rather, I've always tried to make it a place where I can give you something and offer you you know some sort of idea that I have, but that could be of benefit not to me but of value to you. And so I hope I can continue to do that into the new year, but I hope I've done that so far. And so um, one of the gifts that I want to give you tonight this Christmas Eve is focusing on yourself and focusing on uh, and, and helping others along the way. And here's what I mean by that. A lot of times, a lot of us can many times get lost in the chaos of life. If you have to go to work and then maybe some of you guys have kids, especially this time of year, it's very, very hectic. Um, and it'll get less hectic once we get past the new year. But even still though, there are tons of things going on for every single one of us, especially in the arts, especially you know, in the filmmaking world. And so there are tons of things that you can get lost and involved in. But for all of you who have ever said, you know, I've got a script or I've got an idea or maybe you've already banged out that script. Maybe you've already fleshed out that idea and you're ready to move forward. Um, you have to do what I call a good type of selfishness, a type of selfishness where you focus on your idea and, and, and see that through. Because if you don't do it, if you don't practice that selfishness and I, and I do emphasize a good type of selfishness, um, then how will you ever get started on your idea and on the concept that you have in mind? Now, the reason why I call it a good type of selfishness is because you do have to focus on whatever your idea is, your script, your short film, your video, whatever it is that you're doing. But um, it's a good focus because you have to, that's how you get things done. That's how you can get things done. And I myself, um, it, it also applies to me too. So when you focus on yourself in that very uh, healthy type of way, you're able to see through the things that you need to see through right here that come from your heart and um, that come from your mind. And when you express the things that you need to get out and onto the page and maybe onto the screen, that's nothing but a beautiful thing. Now, the part about helping others along the way. Well, here's the thing. If you are the person who is the writer, the director, and you are organizing such a shoot for a film production, now you're, because you, in a very healthy way, um, practiced that selfish type of a focus, um, and again, positive vibes and the selfishness, then you have a project that you're able to go into and basically provide acting jobs or maybe you've got a friend who you're able to hire and you've got some money and you can hire them as a grip or as an audio tech or you know come come what may but the point is that you're helping other people participate in the film dream you're helping other people participate in the creative realm because you focused on your thing and because you did your thing i hope that makes sense i know that it does to me um and that's what I mean by that. It, even after you get the production done, let's say if it's a short film and you know, and, and I myself have done this, um, I want to say like three times before and I look forward to doing it way more with the feature film once I get that done. But basically where you have, or, or if you have contact with a nonprofit or if you know somebody who can, you know, maybe an organization that can use a little bit of money, what you can do is 
take your art and basically have them use it to screen your film um, if you're comfortable with doing that and if you're you know again not doing the whole um, film festivals things and whatnot and you're okay exhibiting your film then what you can do is again screen your film you're raising money for the nonprofit or the organization of your choice and then on top of that all on the basis of people just doing what enjoying your film and so there is a way to focus on yourself and still have room to help others in the process and that's the way that I've discovered so in the past and frankly I look forward to doing that I look forward to more intensely focusing on what I have to get um, done and out of the way with regards to my projects but also picking up the phone and um, you know calling people up and saying hey how can we take the thing that I made and have it benefit you or your organization or whatever it is that you do that way it's not just about you that way you're yes you're having people um partake in the short film or you know whatever piece of content that you made but you are also helping more importantly you are helping you're giving back to your community to an organization to a variety of people that maybe would have had that much less money but now because of you they have that much more money because of the screening that you held and whatnot um you know that's ultimately up to you guys how you guys organize that with uh, certain organizations and whatnot and even more so like for example let's say you're doing um you're doing a niche topic in your film let's say the topic has to do with um you know it has a non-drinking and driving message within your film you can call up certain organizations that are going to be um very supportive of that message because that's their thing um you know what i mean like basically if your content if the stuff that's within your content uh, can hit a niche then you can tap into tons of organizations that fit that niche or you also reverse engineer it and you take a look at a bunch of organizations that you would like to support say hmm what kind of film could connect to their cause or to their thing and then you kind of re-engineer it backwards and then you write a script that has something to do with what that organization is doing so there's a few ways to do it but basically that could be the crossover this way to that way or that way to this way etc you get what i mean so you guys focus on yourselves do your thing do it well um but focus on yourselves in a very 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 healthy way to where you're getting things done and um, you're getting things done with those around who you want who want to support you but then turn around and once you got your thing done hold a screening support other people in some way shape or form um, it's one of the best ways at least in my experience when I've done that to build bridges and just just to construct relationships with um, the filmmaking community and um, or you know yourself as a filmmaker and your crew and organizations and whatnot and then you guys can figure out how to move forward and furthermore in the future do more of those um, uh, productions where you guys work in conjunction with each other all right everyone that's it you guys have a merry christmas i hope uh, santa brings you guys every single thing that you want and if not have you been naughty hmm just kidding um i love you guys run out there make your films tell your stories don't ask for anyone's blessing or permission and by the way when i say don't ask for anyone's blessing or permission don't wait what here's what i mean by that don't wait for somebody to say you may go forth and now make a film because i said so you are the person that has to determine that that when you are ready you just need to run out and do it don't you know basically run out there don't ask for anyone's blessing or permission don't let that be the thing that stops you let that be the thing that gets you to say no i'm going to run out there and i'm going to do it so run out there do it don't ask for anyone's blessing don't ask for anyone's permission i love you guys all you guys have a safe and merry christmas this evening i'll talk to you guys later bye